Hey everyone, it's Jason here. I've got a review of the very first Spore expansion. Now, we're coming up to a year after EA and Max's originally shipped Spore, so you know what that means for publishers. It's time for the very first expansion pack. In this case, we have Spore Galactic Adventures, which is a product that adds a lot of welcome variety and creativity to the final act of the game. As its name suggests, Galactic Adventures is about exploring outer space. Now, you could do that before in Spore, but all you could really do was fly around the galaxy in your starship. You could never really get out of your spaceship and interact with anything. Well, that changes in Galactic Adventures, because now you can beam down to planets to undertake missions. And there's just a really wide variety of missions here. We're doing everything from fighting Godzilla-style monsters that are 10 stories tall to exploring how a bill becomes a law, which, if you're a fan of Schoolhouse Rock or maybe the Simpsons spoof of Schoolhouse Rock, is just really fun and clever. Now, let's be honest, if you're interested in Galactic Adventures and you're already familiar with Spore, this is an expansion, so it builds on everything that's already familiar with Spore. You're going to get the same kind of trademark Maxis wit and humor that you're accustomed to, but there's not really any story per se, but, you know, that's what Spore is. It's about creating your own stories, and that's something that's very doable with the adventure editor that's kind of the same one that Maxis used to create the missions that shipped in the game, but we'll get to more of that later. Again, this is an expansion, so you're not going to see any big leaps in the visual look of Spore. One nice thing is that there are a lot more assets to play with, though, so it's possible to create all sorts of environments, whether it's an alien version of the United States Capitol building, to party towns, to all sorts of alien worlds. Now, the heart of this expansion are the planetary missions, and it's where Galactic Adventures really shines. This is Spore, so you're not going to get any kind of dark, dramatic, serious style of adventure. Instead, it's all about having fun and variety, lots of color, lots of fun dialogue. Now, Maxis has created a whole lot of missions for the game, and they're fun, but this is Spore after all, so the secret is user creation. Anybody can create a mission, including yourself. You can share it online with the entire community, and that just basically means that there's pretty much going to be an unlimited number of user-made missions for the foreseeable future. Now, you can just jump into any adventure from the Adventure Gallery, but what's better is that this entire thing integrates directly into the space stage of the game. So you'll still be doing that, but... Every now and then you'll be able to beam down to a planet and actually have an adventure. You can be running around the jungles or something, you feel like you're really there. It adds a lot of welcome variety and change of pace to the space stage. So yes, Galactic Adventures really beefs up the space stage, and you know, while that's great, it sort of highlights the expansion pack's weakness. The space stage was already Spore's strongest stage, so while Galactic Adventures makes it better, it really doesn't do much to the other stages, like the Cell stage, or the Tribal stage, or the Civilization stage. Those are the sections of Spore that could really use some flushing out. Still, it's hard to say no to the possibilities that Galactic Adventures offers in terms of user creativity. Even if you don't like to build complex missions, you can still enjoy the fruits of other Spore players' labors. For the full written review, head over to IGN.com.